Bitches ain't shit. <laughs> Man, dingo. I've been reading bitches my whole life. That's my job. That's why I fuck. If you have ex- <laughs> problems, this <laughs> shit is real. Y'all think Milo knows what the fuck he's doing? There's no real girl code. It's, just Whoa. it's what I call Whoa. bitch politics. <laughs> You know what women want most of all? More. More. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever it is they want. It's more. It's time to join the movement. GYP. Get, 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 get your balls back. They don't understand. I'm giving you the best of me so that I can fuck you. But yeah. once that's over, the contract is over. No, right. It's wrong. 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 Everything your mama said. Wrong. Fuck that bitch too. But this is some stuff I pulled out of the Bible. Now, I don't believe in the Bible. I don't. And then the Lord said. Timothy. Yeah. 211 to 15. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. Shut your mouth! <laughs> oh shit. It's about to go down. We in the motherfucking pimp cup. GYBB, get your balls back. BABB, be a better bitch. WWDD, what would Dante do? I am excited. Really? Yeah, yeah. Finally. You know why? Because this, this right here mm-hmm. is a special show. Oh, good. good now, good. I know I've said that 180 times before, <laughs> but this one is a special show. <laughs> this time. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's getting crazy. It's, mm. I feel like it's getting crazy. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of things are going down, and we got a special guest. Mm. We got a special guest that's coming back, and a special guest that you don't even know. Like, we just got dope. We dope and we do dope shit. Mara, how are you? Pretty fantastic, actually. Uh, you ready for I'm this? Happy to be here. You, you ready for this? Are yeah. you ready? Because it's about to go down. This is happening. Yes. Are you going to uh, break into another freestyle rap? I might don't just do, do that. that. I might don't do that. Yeah, Yo, please don't. Fuck y'all. <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> fuck y'all. We all struggles. <laughs> Harry, you want these bars? Don't play, Andre. I will yeah. give you these bars. Yeah. Andre, you good? I'm chilling. Yeah? Harry, you good? I'm good. I'm a good... Uh, Trying to keep these gators down. It is it's difficult. Very difficult. People very say difficult. pimping ain't easy. I would say it gets easier with time. If mm. you practice, pimping is easier. It's taken me a long time to try to keep these gators down. <laughs> it is difficult. It is difficult. I but almost it gets, had them down the other day. I, and, and, then and, they and, just, and then they slipped right away. They just they slipped away. <laughs> Andre, my little retarded son, how are you? I am good. <laughs> All right. Uh, high school graduate. You, uh, gra- <laughs> you keep saying that. Did, wait, we haven't seen the paperwork <laughs> yeah. yet. <laughs> wait, did that just happen, Andre? <laughs> you don't need to know. Oh, okay. I got accepted into Durad. <laughs> what kind of internship is this? <laughs> Durad? Nah, De- I said DeVry. DeVry, yeah. DeVry. It's a very prestigious <laughs> school, okay? Yeah, yeah. That Maybe. accepts everyone with money. I guess somebody here doesn't watch the Maury Povich show at 11 o'clock in the morning. DeVry. <laughs> you got a scholarship to DeVry? Yeah. <laughs> I what think you he doing? said Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's where he's going. He's just his boy Gerard is teaching him math. He's teaching me shit. What's up, nigga? Um... We got we got two special guests and his and his seed in the house. He brought his seed. Yeah. So we gonna teach him some shit too. Um, this is my man, funny dude, BT Comic View, all that shit. Funniest motherfucker I know. Uh, next to me. Um, <laughs> give it up for Edgar Ramirez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you you say that about everybody though. Bro. Um, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> well, he does good, say the next to, to me part. Back. Next to me, yeah. the next to me part always gets that for sure. It's good to have you back, Egg. Thank you, Dante. Thank you for having I me mean, back. Bro. I mean, it, things have changed. We're gonna get into that. Things have changed yeah, since yeah. the last time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We're going through a little divorce. Mm. <laughs> no, man. No, 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 still, divorce. You, a breakup. A breakup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she wasn't married. No, no, no. I forgot you, Puerto Rican. I did that. You don't marry. I did it twice. I did it twice. It didn't work. Yeah, that's what they call a Puerto Rican divorce. Right? You got married twice? Yep. Me too. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the thing shit. I do. It's, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys it's are like so, a hobby. <laughs> you guys are so much alike. It's so it's awesome. Thing I Why do. does my mic sound like shit, yo? Yeah? Mm. I really it? sounds shitty. Is it not popping? Now it's better. Early. There it is better. And uh, hold on. Got, let me, let me give this the, this, uh, 
I've actually been uh, yeah. People have asked me If Yo that that dude That's fucking all them bitches On hip hop Love and hip hop Is your brother I've asked People have asked me that <laughs> <laughs> It's like Yo look like Y'all got the same mother <laughs> I was like No but we do Fuck a lot of bitches So maybe we are Brothers you might be in related. that You might be related <laughs> Give it up For y'all for Cisco Y'all give it up for Cisco uh, What's going on Y'all what's going on Yeah Yeah It's about to get crazy And uh, why don't you Introduce your scene Cause you know Oh. My seed. Yeah. I call him my sperm donation. Yeah, he came That's from it. your balls, right? He came from his balls. <laughs> Sitting next to Mara right there. Don't, don't, don't sleep on him, girl. Don't sleep on him. He will do something to you. That's my little man, Jason, man. Give it up for Jason. Yo, I'm going to give you the claps, too. What's up? Little man. Uh, my next husband right there. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> really? You know what? You going, don't, you going, uh, you know. don't sleep on him. You better not sleep yeah, on Mara. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mara will have his penis out and be jerking him off. You know don't I'll play. Be, I'll be your third marriage. <laughs> <laughs> or boyfriend and girlfriend, as yeah. Puerto Ricans do. You yeah, just yeah, yeah, we'll and then we will get her pregnant. He will get you pregnant. <laughs> no reason to get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so uh, I'm excited about this because I, I mean, I actually a fan, sis. I really, I'm a fan. Watched you on the show, kept your composure, kept these bitches, Try kept to. your foot on these bitches' neck like they need to be. Um, <laughs> Edgar don't listen to me. That's why he's breaking up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to you now. I'm single. I know. I'm single gotta, for a minute. We got. I got. I'm gonna work with you. I want you oh, to know you put me on speed dial. Well, good luck, man. Cisco <laughs> been trying to work with me too. Man. <laughs> well, yeah. So you got a mentor. Why are you fucking up? <laughs> Edgar falls in love too quick. That's. I was <laughs> just gonna say that. Edgar is like a relationship. It's everything. Aww. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we could be in the club, I could be like, yo, Edgar, man, and you just, he'll start, like, analyzing so much shit about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we was at the bodega. He bought two Jolly Ranchers. He was like, yo, I think I love that girl. <laughs> 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 you ain't see how she handed me that's, the, that's bo- the the Jolly Ranchers? That's what I do, man. <laughs> shit is different nowadays. Edgar's so. a good dude, man. I am a good dude. He's, He's a, a good, good dude. dude. Too good. That's why I got two marriages. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You can't be a good dude. Good dudes don't mm. win. That's it's why. True. You know what? That's no, why that Cisco wins. That is true. <laughs> and, 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 and the guy he laughs with a third bag. <laughs> that is true. And, and um, Cisco has um, opened my eyes up to that. Yeah. yeah. You can't be nice to them. You can't. Not to everybody. Yeah, that's the, and that's the main thing that I had to work with Egg on. Right, right. <laughs> you know, you got like, right, like a just, project. You're nigga. In, yeah, you are. I'm we, a player. I, I think we gonna both look. Mm. I just yo, I are had some dudes. Are you in a player? You your project? Get that? No. <laughs> I'm just take that Mara don't give you no, no nothing. rest. <laughs> nothing. No, fall back. No. <laughs> Stay in your lane. There's son. levels to this shit. <laughs> Cisco, so let me ask you: Did you all did you, did you go through a period? Did you fall into a vat of awful bitches, as we say, mm. and then you learn your lesson, or did uh, was it some? Because some dudes are just prodigies, you know what I mean? Yeah. But we all get we. One of the things we say on Beige Phillip is everybody gets got. Right. There's always some bitch to get you. Right, right, right. And it's just, and, but it's the learning process. And you pay attention. What the fuck are you doing? Pay attention. <laughs> have you been this for you? Have you gotten got? Before? Got how though? Because there's a lot of ways you get. You know what I mean? Whatever. Like, you got your heart broke. Whatever like, the fuck. Yeah, your, your first heartbreak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. All definitely. of us. All um, of us got shit. that. Yeah, my baby mother definitely uh-uh. fucked me up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> relationship yeah. I have after that, after that, you know, it was a public relationship with somebody else that was on television. That right. that didn't work out well. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Public's hard gonna... though, because that's got a lot of yeah, ego and, and I think that's what kind of messed us up the most because right, we were right. so public. Like every time we went to the fucking store. You see the shit on, you know, uh, fucking media takeout the next day. You know what uh, I mean? And right, it's just like right. You can't even enjoy It's hard yourself. to have yeah. a side bitch yeah. when you... Try- <laughs> 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 I mean, I was so just like, translating. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it's funny you said that. It's true. It's like, you can't... <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm not saying the side bitch. I'm just saying... Like, <laughs> all jokes aside, it, it is twice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, you got to watch it. Like, even if you're just talking to a girl in a club or any... Like, this shit can just be... That's right. Cisco was... He was just... He was just... He was just Talking to her, and then he yeah, tripped. No, I tell you, know what's funny? His dick fell in it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you something crazy. Like just like two, three weeks ago, you know, a girl 
on another show on VH1, she posted me as her MCM, right? She took a picture, posted me as her MCM. Right. Uh, and then MCM? the crazy thing is, yeah, it means like man, man crush, crush Monday. Monday. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, but girl, you know, girls do that like a lot on Mondays and shit like sure. that. Sure. Edgar, so, girls that's do not that legally. to you? Yeah. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what MCM <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> they do when he's in the picture with me. They think they do. <laughs> um, but no, but the crazy part I've was like- I've been part she... of a Don't Fuck Fridays. That seems cruel. That seems very unnecessary. BFF. <laughs> but the crazy part was that, you know, she put the picture up just like on some love. Like, yo, it's yeah, yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah. and then the shit hit the blogs everywhere for the next oh, three days. Okay. Everybody thought we was in a relationship. Right. But mm. I had never met her before. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So and you, like, get, you getting all that heat and you ain't even get the pussy. Even, this is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that's, just like, that's when I learned, like, damn. This that's why I got to go fuck her. Because I don't... <laughs> <You> <laughs> might as well. I might as well. Yeah. I got the heat for it. <laughs> now, l- let me ask you something. Go, did you... Did you did you get it? Like, when did you get it? When did you start getting that you had to have game, that it, 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 it was about, that you, what your value was? Because we get a lot of dudes who don't understand what their value is. And even when they do, they get into a relationship, they get twisted. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I realized a long time ago? The more you go out of your way to try to impress women, the more they look for the, for the nigga that... Is not trying yeah, to impress. Yeah, they don't. Them. They don't. It. it you know it, what I'm saying? They don't like it. I know. I hate try. to say this, right? But uh, like, you know, I tell Edgar this. I'm, I'm giving away my little fucking tricks. But I tell Edgar this shit all the time. Sometimes the key to like yeah. getting a girl to like you is to completely fucking ignore them. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Absolutely. Act like they don't fucking like br- invite them out and shit, and then invite five other people out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, well, no, I'm saying, no, yeah. that sounds fucked up, right? Yeah. No, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Going, I'll, I'll tell you movies. this. It, it used to sound fucked up until I got so posted let, on. Let her come out and yeah. then think it's going to be you or her. And, and it's, it's like, yo, these are four of my homies, two of their homegirls, three of my road managers. Yeah, you're and just, just like, one of many. Going out. Yeah, you're just one of many. And then it's like, because sometimes women, they know. Remember some. A guy got to be fucking handsome, rich, famous on television. He does not have to be handsome. He got to be doing all that just to get women to sweat him. But a girl, all she got to do is just look good. Show up. And That's show true. up and look Sometimes good. Sometimes she don't even got to look just, good. Mar doesn't like well, that, but it's a, yeah, it's dirty. a slight exaggeration, but it's fairly accurate in well, that. Right, right. Uh, in I that, guys can be ugly as fuck. Yeah, and still you get, get but well, you get, But the other thing, you better bring, you better bring, you better be famous as fuck. That show better be famous better if you're that ugly. Of, yeah. now, well, you got to bring me, something else something. to the table. I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I'm going to say, like, I understand what you're saying, but I disagree with that. And I'll tell you why. Here's why. Because game is everything. You can have mm. an ugly dude and he can have game like a motherfucker and they will, they your swagger, a bitch will jump on your swagger just because you look like you know what it is. Shout out to Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Jermaine Dupri has money too. You can't say that. Right, That's right. True. But, but here's a better example. But, right, not, right, but right. you know what I would tell you? Something the money is not even the thing because I tell motherfuckers all the time, you could go, there's dudes on death row who will write a letter to a chick in Arizona, have her fly in so she could marry him in the prison on death row so he could get conjugal Listen, visits. they don't have to pay now, something and they make a exactly. dollar well, here's, an hour. Well, here's so. the thing. Here's the thing. He's got a job. It's all take right? home. But here, here's, <laughs> here's the crazy thing. If you talk about a guy who has who, who who is the epitome of not having a future is a nigga on death row. He mm-hmm. doesn't have a future August in mm. August, his future is over. <laughs> but he, but he's, but the thing is, all he got is his game, is his words, and because of his words, he knows how to make a chick feel like, yo, this. I, is I, I agree, and I'm going, I'm, a, I'm a counter your disagreement, okay, by saying this, right? That's 100 percent true. But here's, here's the thing, though, because I know what you're saying. You're talking about like some dudes, they just know how to talk to him, right. and, and they don't got, they don't have shit, they don't got shit going on for themselves, but they know how to talk to him, talk to him. Shout out to and Andre. <laughs> 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 got a Fuji bicycle. But, but the one thing you gotta have to offer them in that particular situation is a lot of Dick? time. No, no, okay. it's a lot of time. <laughs> you gotta invest a lot of time in in, in bullshitting them and telling them things. And well, uh, listen, I, I'm I'm on a show with some motherfuckers like that. Like right. I'm, you know, what I'm saying like <laughs> they just invest a lot of time and right, just right. you know bullshitting them and spending time with them and, and getting in their head. And you know you gotta get to know them. It's a, in order to take advantage, you know, in that situation, yeah. you gotta get to know them and try to manipulate them. It's okay. a lot of shit that goes into that. It's not just that easy, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Hey, you, I'm a uh, busy dude. I don't have that kind of time. Well, but he, here's here's people. I would say this: the fact, the simple fact. I mean, I mean, you're not a, a, an un, I mean, not an unattractive dude. But I'm saying the fact that you don't have time is is kind of the thing that they find attractive. Like, okay. like that is true. It's it's the <laughs> yeah. fact that you're it's yeah. the fact that you're forward thinking and that you have goals and aspirations and you doing it is why she's going. Yo, this is the party train. I'm trying to be on this party train. So, and the fact that you. There's other dresses, you know. This is, I mean, I know you're not really familiar with the show, but we have rules that you follow. One of the things that we say is that that women find a find a man attractive who other women find attractive. Mm-hmm. So if you got you got chicks, Wait, okay, chicks you said want, women find attractive. Find a man attractive who has other women. Oh, okay, right. Gotcha. And here's this, we got a we, <laughs> shout out to, to creep ass Josh Ricardo, but <laughs> Josh will you know what you talked about was was inviting. You know, invite a chick out and then invite all your homies. He will invite two dates out the same night <laughs> and go, yo, oh, uh, yo, I made a mistake. I mean, I was supposed to go out with her tomorrow, but I fucked up on the dates. I mean, if y'all want to just hang out and eat. And then he'll pull the threesome off at that night because there's a dynamic. There's a psychological dynamic to that because women... Women start to compete with each other. Mm-hmm. So when you, they have no stake in you because this is the first date. So they can't really claim you because this is the first date unless it's Dow Strawberries. Girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, who did this? Who did this though? Who did this? Uh, Josh, Josh Ricardo. But I mean, it just makes sense because you invite the two girls out. You say, "Yo, we just can you mind? You gonna just hang out?" And then you hang out and y'all drinking and partying. And then so not right. I mean, he right, doesn't do it every time. It's a numbers game. He plays right, the, right. I was, I was about to say. I mean, I don't know who y'all talking about, but that's, that's, <laughs> that shit might work sometimes. Yeah, but, but talk about the other side of the you know the coin. Yeah, but when, there's no real the other. Drink in your face. Yeah, and, but and here's the other. <laughs> So. But here's the thing. If, here's what I'm gonna say. If if you if you don't really have it's a no, long cab ride, you know what? It's a long cab ride. You know what I want? You still have a long like, bill. But, but, so, you so, like, you had a, you like I had some pussy tonight, and I and I gambled and I fucked it up. And now I'm home myself. So talk about that side of but, it too. But let me ask you something. You you have you have a girl throw a drink in your face. You ever had a girl throw a drink in your face? I'm gonna love a hip hop. But I'm saying so. But it, it, even in that. Right. Even that, right? They were like, Sign, "Why are you? Fuck you, nigga!" <laughs> <laughs> if you if you on this, then uh, you uh, you have no problem with getting a drink thrown in your face. <laughs> but, but here's the thing: because it's TV, they turn up because it's TV too. So what I'm saying in real life, a bitch would throw a drink in your face. I mean, I've had women do worse in my real life. Yeah, definitely. Like, like just what? really? <laughs> look at, look at what <laughs> like, she loves it. She's a girl. <laughs> like what? Now, God, I learned a long, a long t- I learned a long time ago. There's nothing worse than a woman scorned, or f- or that sure, feels sure. like she's scorned. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? And it's usually feel. That's like how. You get here's it. here's what's crazy. I've never had a drink drink thrown in my face. No, never. And mm. I'm a piece of garbage. I mean, I'm 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 doing it. I have. Uh, you, I, yeah, but come they on, have, that you're other outrageous. chicks though. You, yeah. you yeah, might have fucked yeah. more girls than me. <laughs> 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 but I, I mean, I, you know, like I, I stripped for 11, 11 years. I pimped for seven, and it's just it, it, there's. I think there's a certain there's a certain level of shit that you could, uh, uh, an energy that you can put out there where she goes, oh, this, this is really not a nigga that I. Should throw a drink in his face. Yo, quick question. You know what I'm saying? So, so one day you decided, like, oh, I'm just gonna stop pimping today. Make it seven years. I and that's it. I had nah. I had, a, I had watch. A, like, I had a, a, all the questions. My son just wanted to know about <laughs> you. Know, you know, all. All. Everything. <laughs> all so kinds so, of so when you all pimp, kinds of intricate of, uh, dynamics here. He wanted to know what, about this pimping shit. So, oh. so, so when you pimp, instead of getting a pension, do you? Hey, have girl, that is yeah. your son. He is a piece of shit, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> Um, no, what happened was I was I was in the game and uh, one of my chicks had got hurt mm. really bad. It was a fucked up situation. I, I've talked about it on the show and I just didn't have, you got to have, yeah. you got to have the head for that. Yeah. Like you got to be ice cold. You got to be ice cold if you're going to do that. And if you don't have the head to do that, you can't do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the ethic for it. That's the same thing that it takes to run a Fortune 500 company. It's, it, well, look, it's to it's not the same give thing, a fuck that some people thing, on a you run, if, you, if you run an insurance, if you, yeah. if you, if you run you a pharmaceutical, no you run a pharma, yeah. right. If you yeah. run a pharmaceutical <laughs> company and you know motherfuckers are going to die for the shit that you put out, you got to have, you got to be, yeah. you got to have the head that makes you go to sleep at night. Yeah. And so I just got to the or point the where 
<laughs> I just couldn't, you know. Too much of a conscience, it bothered me. Yeah, it you. was just, I'm, I'm, you know, deep down, I'm just a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> How do I really yeah, laugh? Cisco, you didn't see <laughs> Cisco's eyebrow? <laughs> I stripped for 17 yeah, years. I stripped, I pimped, I sold drugs for seven. <laughs> and it's like, oh, but I'm really a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a good dude. Beneath it all. Beneath it's, it all. It's, beneath it all. It's, it's like, it's <laughs> layers. It's like an onion. There's yeah, layers. Listen, listen, circumstances. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get opportunities, you got to take the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all I'm saying. Um, but but I, I, I think what happens is sometimes you, you're, if you're, there's a certain kind of energy that you get off that women mm. feel as though this, they I can, can get, get away with this. Get away with it, yeah. And I think if, you not, if you're not aware of that energy, then you could get, you could get God like that. But when you're mm -hmm. aware of it, it's like, like for instance, if, a, if, if, like I'm the type of dude, that if, a, if I take a chick out. And she's, I, I've said this a hundred times on the show, and she's 15 minutes late, I leave. I don't wait. <laughs> and then I'm gone. She goes, she comes down, dress, heels, all hot, and I go, uh, That's the pimp she, in you. Right. Well, and I go, <laughs> she goes, Where, where are you at? I came, I was like, Well, I told you eight o'clock. It's 817. <laughs> You, uh, we'll catch up another time. And so I'm setting the boundaries from day one. Right away, the, yeah. the cheeseburger story. I'll tell you the cheeseburger story. Took a girl out to dinner. She was acting up to, she accused me of looking at some, the waitress's ass. Started arguing with me. She, we were eating, we were getting ready to go to a Broadway play. And she was eating and I took the cheeseburger back. And she was like, what are you doing? I was like, <laughs> I was like, you, you, I'm not going to, I'm not going to feed you. If while you argue, me. while you argue with me, you could you could argue on an empty stomach and keep it up, and then you're not gonna we, use my calories. Right, to right, yeah. <laughs> right. So, so I think there's a there's a I think that as guys, yeah, we. I mean, I think that I'm hyper hypersensitive to it because of the fact that because of the game that I was in. Mm. But I I see those little things where they're testing you. Where they're mm -hmm. testing you up front, or where they're accustomed, like a chick would be like, "I'm getting pretty," and then and you know, and you wait now stairs for an hour, and you go, "Ah, you know, you know, ch chicks gotta get pretty, they gotta." But if you leave and you go, and she goes, "We mean left," and I go, "Well, I don't. My time is important." Albino gives me ten minutes, even if I'm at work, and I'm like, "They haven't cut me yet." He's like, "Out, I'm out." I'm well, like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I'm saying yeah. is, when you the, the thing is, those little things that infer to. Those little things that infer to how where she gets to the point where she throws a drink in your face is up. Now she can't if she has to, if she can't be late fifteen minutes, chances are she ain't gonna throw a drink in your face. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's but she's got to get away with that fifteen minutes. Then maybe half hour, an hour. Then maybe she you know, yeah. tells you tell you your mama ain't shit. Then mm. she throws a drink in your face. But I mean, it's it's a progressive it thing. Up. Nobody does that. It, first, it's a progressive first thing. Night. And I find that when the you when you then. maintain that line, when you maintain that line up front, then it doesn't allow those that other shit. She's not calling you a motherfucking. Throw, you know what I'm saying? She's not talking about your mother. She ain't going, you little dick motherfucker. I mean, she. I mean, that's a lie, clearly. <laughs> but I mean, not to say that they, this is gonna lie on you or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a different game. So. Uh, I think that it, there's a when you start to understand like what you when you don't tolerate shit, then it doesn't allow the bullshit, the heavy bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? And I bet you they look for them for look for you afterwards. Too, of right? course, of course, because yeah. they'll go because they'll go. You left me, and I'm not, and I don't give it anger. Like bitch, you you kept had me wait. I'm fucking out. I'm like, nah, I got I got stuff to do. I'll, I'll, I'll let you if you want to try this again. We could try this next week. Hmm. And she what? I'm, no, I'm not mad. I just got things to do. But see, then nice. again, that's also a gamble. It's like you got to be willing to say take the to yourself, yeah. to lose, yeah. this chick may never call my ass again. Uh -huh. Right, but you know what I'm saying, and as that... long as you are comfortable with that, right, then you right. can bust those moves. And that's it's interesting. Now I'm talking to you as I'm also talking to Edgar too. Right, right, you know, but I know. He's still, he's still well, a, yeah, we're, we're all talking to Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking notes. I've been working hard. I can't wait. To, I mean, you know what? I'm a, wait till a bitch we, is late. We, <laughs> you know, I start inviting people oh, anywhere. Just I'm like, yo, two more minutes, and this bitch is gonna eat by herself. <laughs> Edgar left seven minutes early. <laughs> He's been since a quarter to yeah. ten. No, but it, I mean, it's true though. I mean, I've been hanging out with Cisco a lot now, and and I see the whole if you if you too good, mm, they'll ride you. Yeah. Sure. You fucking treat them like shit. They'll fucking and trust me. But here's the thing: it's, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> trust me. You treat them like shit. They will be on your ass. Hey, listen, I don't. Even, I don't even. will come back and be like, like we'll be at an event or a party or something, and you know it's, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? When we out, yeah. and it's like, and then he'll go and talk to somebody, and then come back, 
and just be like, wow, you know, she's a really nice girl. Oh. <laughs> she works oh, over here, and you know, she has two kids. I'm like, and you don't, you don't call him a faggot. You know what I'm saying? No, faggot. Like, oh, you gotta, heck, man. You, know, you gotta go faggot. You gotta say faggot right away. She's such a nice you know? girl. She comes from a nice family. You know? <laughs> nice. You know? She says she has brothers and shit. Here's great. what yeah, I would, I've never I would, been I would, that. I would bet my money on it that because because uh, when we when, when I spoke to Egg and he was going to try again, he was like, oh yeah, yeah, he would be good on the show because he's a creep. I was like, I don't think he's a creep. Mm. No. I, I don't think he's a creep because here's here's what I would say to that. Just because you don't allow this to stomp all over you, don't make you a creep. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing: the minute you let them stomp all over you, there. They they're, stomp. They're going to stomp. They stomp. Okay, but for all the feminists listening. They put on wooden cloths. Okay, for, the, for all the feminists listening, it is kind of the golden rule in this where they're, you guys aren't going to be disrespectful to them. No. Nah, if you no. say 8 o'clock, you're going to show up at 8 o'clock. Right. I'm going to be there at 8 o'clock. Right. And if I'm not there at 8 o'clock, I'm going to get heated. About I'm a, yeah, they're going to get heated. For the record, I don't agree with what he said about the 8 o'clock thing. Like, I'll wait to 8 30, whatever. I mean, you know, the, something so could have happened. We 15 minutes. Yeah. Traffic or some but shit. But here's you know what I'm going to say. What if they did it to you, though? What if you got there late and then when you got there, she'd be what, like, I don't want to go out nowhere. Here's what's interesting. If I'm late, right, if I know before I, if I know I'm going to be late, I call and I would say, yo, traffic is crazy. I'm running a little late, blah, 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 blah. So what I'm saying is I'm not leaving at 8.15. What I'm saying is there's no call, no nothing. I'm sitting and waiting. And then now, oh, okay, she, that, yes. you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, so I'm not. Yeah, that's no that's heads up. No so heads up. You didn't right. say that. Right, 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 right. So, nah, so it's good. just. but if nah, That's just like a disrespect to your time. It's a disrespect like, to your time. I show up when I feel like it. I'm not okay. unreasonable. I I'm just you, saying right. you got to be. You you, you, you have will, to. You will respect me, bottom right, line. Right, exactly. No matter what happened. And I'm going to set these boundaries as as I will respect you. Got you. That's okay. and that's that and I don't think you can you can expect anything more than that. So when I know that I, when I'm looking at the clock and I'm saying okay, you know, or I'm on the GPS and the GPS says says a fifteen. I'm supposed to be. There. I'm calling. Yo, listen, it's running a little late. Um, you know, I, I should be there around eight seventeen, eight twenty, whatever the fuck, a little margin. I mean, and she'll go okay. All right. So so I just want the heads up and get a call to to have to respect my time. I mean, things can happen. I'm not unreasonable that way. I don't think that things can't happen. I'm just saying, just be mindful of it's, the fact that I'm taking time out of my life, which I see what is you're important. Saying. So if you if you feel like if I don't check this shit off the door and I'll, I think and let you think it's okay to show sure. up fucking half an hour late without calling, sure, sure, and right. tomorrow's gonna get worse and worse. Because right? Because how can it not? How can it? Yeah, hours. yeah. So even a half hour is a lot if she can't call you and say, "Yo, I'm running a little late." She should be uncomfortable about the fact that she's. She late. should be apologetic yeah. too. Right. Maybe if you get that sense where there's no apology, it's about trusting your instincts about what bothers you, and that's the thing I've learned yeah. from this show a yeah. lot. Yeah. Like, I was uh, going out with a, a girl I just kind of met, right? And uh, so she was telling me some story about, like, that she was making out with some other guy at another thing or whatever. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Exactly. That should have been the end of the day. Exactly. <laughs> 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 I want to so, hey. spit out the tequila. <laughs> what is he talking about? Like, oh, I'm sorry. I go. So I go, and, and that's and that's the exactly way I feel. I go, this is kind of, she has no fucking respect for me if she's, so I go, listen, like, I don't have a problem that you have a pat. I'm not assuming that you're a virgin, <laughs> but I don't want to hear about you like making out or fucking other guys. That's a proper way of calling a girl a hoe. Right. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't even give a shit about that part of it, but just the, it's a lack Listen, of respect. Let me just say this: we, yeah. we hoes are beautiful. Yeah, hoes we are love people them. too. Hoes are people. We need too. more hoes yeah. because they know what they want and they go after it. Yeah. How else are you gonna get practice? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Super Bowl's not one on the. You better night. hope you know some hoes. <laughs> You gotta get your numbers up. I'm okay? not like my pops. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> that is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so it, you know, it's it's it, one it's of the following things. Following your instinct. One yeah. of the base Phillip, One of the base Phillip rules is this: if you feel it, if you feel a tingle in your nuts, chances are you getting ready to get kicked in the balls. <laughs> so when you feel that thing, when that when you feel that, like yo, this is yo. Mm. Mm -hmm. This was kind of, yo, I'm, I'm feeling kind of a way about this. And that's the thing I would have let go like a, two years ago. Right, you would have been, she would have been, yeah, I was, I was sucking this dude's dick, right? And it was eh. so big, right? Well, so, so, then, what, so what happened after that? No, what she was, was like, okay. Like, she was fine with it. She didn't make a thing about it. Did she, you guys, you know, hook up after Yeah, that? no, it, it, we, we hooked up after. The not that not, night, not, but... Right now, as we not speak, she's night. telling another guy about she's oh, making out with you. Hey, I don't give a fuck. So I was now that I'm done Harry, with it, right? Now that I'm done with it, I don't give a fuck <laughs> what story you tell. Harry. <laughs> how, did, how did you two opposites meet? 
Who? You two. From the hood. opposite. Nice right? Right? You made that sound like a couple, right? <laughs> <laughs> you somehow said who? <laughs> no, well, you know what? I tell you, um, that's a good question. Like, um, I met Edgar actually through another comedian friend of mine, Rupert. You know, Rupert. Rupert, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Rupert you know, eyes but fucking mine. The thing is, like, I, you know, I, I was like, I, when I met Edgar, I was like, yo, he's he's different than I normally. Like, my two best friends are. Uncle Murder, the rapper, and Tank, the singer. Those okay. are my best friends, right? Right, right. So one is like a, you know, very crooner, R&B-ish, ladies' man. The other it's one's Uncle like Murder. a real... Yeah. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Murder. Uncle, no, Uncle no, Murder. no, no, that's, that's, that's Tank. I know, that's and, why and, it's Tank. Is, <laughs> is the crooner and, gentleman and, Uncle yeah. Murder? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then the other one's a gangster rapper, right? So it's like... And then I met Edgar, and then we clicked. So, like, those are like my... They, he became a very close friend, too. So it's like somebody, you know, explained to me, like, you know what? You, you, you attract or you like the people that resemble pieces of you who you are sure sure so we became tight over the strength of that but thing was so you, I, you got some bitch in you I have a sense of style <laughs> Jesus Christ God. <laughs> no, Jesus Christ this kid is right here a sense yeah. of thought <laughs> <laughs> no, where Edgar, I, I, he's like a good dude he's a good but, dude but Edgar's he is problem a good dude. is He's, he's too a, good to do. He's a good dude. He's mm. too good. So I, he's, I, he's a good dude, but his problem is... He's a pro, dude. You know, the best thing so about took, Edgar is he's a good dude. So I took... I, I, and I told Edgar, remember one day, I was like, yo, Edgar, you know, I'm going to I'm 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 work with you, man. I'm going to help you get this shit together. Because I seen the way, like, he was having these problems with women. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I'm like, yo. Don't do that. Well, the things nah. that... <laughs> motivation talk for my father. <laughs> The things that make you a good human being, sometimes they cannot work well with, with women. Like, the, being kind and, it's like... fucking crazy. Yeah, it's like being kind and being giving and all those things, all those positive qualities that everybody gives ahead, awards move, for. Move. Like sometimes it, it it contradicts what you here's, do. With here's women. here's what you say. Like, and here's a here's a funny thing is is you know I've been doing comedy. I don't know, how long have you been doing comedy, Edgar? Eleven years. Eleven. So I've been doing it fifteen. When I met Edgar, I just liked. I just mm-hmm. like he he he's a dude you see. And you're like, yeah, that's a good dude. Yeah, like, good I, energy, yeah. And when you get older, you you're like. Man, I, I want some good dudes around, around me. You, know yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. you don't want shady niggas around you. It's because right. you mm-hmm. always got to. And Ed and I, and me and Edgar never really hung out with him. Like, we, we hung out a little bit, did shows together. And whenever I see him, I, you know, I always give Edgar love. But it's because he's such a good dude. Yeah. But, and I didn't know that you had that problem. Because I'm the type of dude, like I'm like you, where I see, I'm like yo, I'll be like, yo, be like, yeah, you gotta, my dick don't work. You gotta, <laughs> no, your dick works, That's but you gotta, you gotta go, you got, you gotta, yo, I gotta help this dude. Because I'm that dude, I'm, I'm that dude. The way I, go, I go, yo, come here, come here, I need to talk to you. Yeah. I gotta talk to you, man. It's, this is not working. I need to slap a couple of bitches right here. Well, here's, here's what, you, here's what, here, you know. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> Cisco would be proud as hell. Uh, like, yeah. he, he do that, and uh, one tear will roll out Cisco's face. <laughs> no, you know, you know what Edgar's problem is too. A lot of time, especially in the beginning, this became an Edgar intervention. Yeah. 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 You should have never brought your son to this. You don't need I'm over show. here. No, but I tell you, I'm over here like, damn, I didn't know my dad's his game. Problem what I bad. observed originally, like hanging out with him and, and watching him talk to girls and shit. Yeah, he became the friend. Yeah, a it's lot. A friend zone. Damn, man. Yeah, he puts himself in that friend zone. Like, you call me. You can talk to me. What you going? Through, like all that type of shit. Yeah, you don't do like, that. Like, no. You call, I used to own a house out there. You call your homegirl. <laughs> you talk to her about that shit. Right, you call right. me when you're ready to hang out. And you know, like you, you have to assert yourself and be yeah. like, I'm, 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 I'm trying to fuck yeah, you. I'm, I'm the I'm man. Trying to put here. it in you. I'm trying to put you know it in you. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's the other thing is that you know, I, I, I you know, when I teach this shit, I say to a dude, yeah. Well, I teach it. I, t- I got a service. You you got and, yeah. And uh, what what first thing I say is when you start when you start talking to the chick, you have to institute sex into the the conversation immediately. She needs to know that you're attracted to her and that she feels that kind of that wolf in you. You got to have that wolf in you. So how would so, he do that? So, uh, <laughs> very well, good very good point though. Well, here's he, he, no, no, sure. no, 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 no. You got to have So here's, here's 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 what I say. This is something a little esoteric. I'll tell you what that means in a second. Um, yeah. <laughs> she's on my but, face. I was like, "What?" Just, Speak it's just English, Andre bro. That doesn't know. But, yeah, well, I, I can't. That's <laughs> going to take all week to explain <laughs> that. Shit about the door. His, don't his, even know Lime is yet. A lot of times, and this is this is uh, something that's a little bit, uh, you know, about the energy and the giving off the energy and giving off the vibration. A lot of times, if I'm talking to a chick, I will have took her in my brain already, like I have pictured myself fucking her. Already taking her from behind, bending her over the table, fucking her. And then when I go, hey, how you doing? I'm Dante. 
she go, ooh, what? Like, she could feel that sexual energy because you give off that vibration. That vibration is there. In, in it, it, it permeates everything that you do. But on a verbal tip, you should, you should compliment in a sexual way immediately. So you can go. You, I mean, I, I do it. I, I've learned to do it like with the vibration of it. Like I give off that energy, or you can hold her hand a little longer than she you thought, or you can take you hold her hand and put the other hand over top of, or you go. I, I mean, but I'm a, I'm a little wild. I'll be like, oh, you got all these titties out, and it's just like I'm not, I'm supposed to concentrate. <laughs> like really? Yeah, yeah. Right. And and you're funny, so you know. How to, but you can't. You, it's like well, no, but that, but that hurts him too. Not to cut you off, but see, and I talk to Egg about that all the time too. That hurts him too. Mm. That funny shit. <laughs> the, no, I'm, I'm not being oh, right, right because you know. he's the funny shit. He's cool. safe funny, but chill he's, with the funny shit yeah, right, sometimes. Right, right. Don't be funny all the fucking see, time. See, I'm funny. Because then you turn into the and he knows what I'm talking about because he had it right. You the friend nigga again. He, he right. had a situation <laughs> recently with you know with somebody else, a friend of ours that we knew and. I, I think he had a shot, right, right. But he kept on just cracking fucking jokes all the but time. But here's it, what I don't mean is fun. I mean I'm dirty funny. Like I'm like uh, oh, dirty funny. Yeah, like okay. I'm. Well, I'm that, yeah, that's yeah. A different yeah but you know when to shut up. Yeah, I know. This. I and I and then once I once you, the other thing is that there's you know there's stages of of attraction. Is you open you open with the chick if you get her to laugh or you say something she don't whatever. Once you got her in, the next thing is you start you have to start to establish that your the flirtation is. Like ba- light banter like back and forth. Not to join in on this intervention, but sure. I feel like if you touch more, you would. <laughs> oh, you got to touch. Like, yeah, it would yeah. be. The thing I do is like, like if I just meet up do with one of chick, these things the whole time. Yeah. Right. yeah, you like, should hug. Uh, yeah, I do that all the time. On too. I hug. Yeah, like I hug her. a chick. But I don't like hug the small of her back. I have my hand too up to her back. I always leave it right on the top of her ass anytime I hug her. That's the friend zone hug. At the second, yeah, but, but all the <laughs> friend zone hugging her ass. Also, the the flip side of that too is. And I believe this too. They Let's say a lot. A lot of women know because now we we talking about in a few about, minutes. In a, in they, the first they, few a lot of women know in a few seconds, a few minutes if they want to fuck with you or they want to fuck you off the rip. Right. Yeah. And it, it's like we start off with a with we an start a plus with a on ten, a, and, and, and then, then we, and we work we, our we way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start to fuck it up by doing stupid right. shit or saying <laughs> stupid right. shit. Right, right. So we could be saying all this though, and it really could be all for nothing because if I do believe if a woman really is just feeling you and she want to fuck with you. Then that's there. It's, it's the opportunity. Yeah, there, but you can fuck it up. But you yeah, can but absolutely fuck it up. Yeah, you, we're just reacting off the energy given to us. Yeah. So if you're sending us, I like send male you. Vibes, I send you dick energy. <laughs> I send you hard. Vibes, I send you hard dick. I, I disagree. I disagree. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with. I think Dante made a great point where he said. You know, sometimes... You I mean, let's gotta, just say everybody says that. Yeah, you but, just, <laughs> You fall back and just let them kind of like... You yeah. Know, and, and then when they, you know, when they, when they push well, up on you, just... Well, that's, that's... Well, I think that happens start too. Start looking at your watch and shit. Yeah, like, that, that happens a little that bit. That might be but, a hook. But here's the other yeah, thing. Uh, you're, you're walking in... You're walking in... You you have to understand. Here's the, I, what I think the, the problem is. I think you're, Edgar, you're working to get their attention. And what you don't understand is you're a good dude. Any chick would be happy to be with a good dude that's going to have your back and be there for you. That's the kind of dude you are. But you don't understand what that value is. You got to understand that there's dirtbag niggas that's going to rag, run a bitch through the fucking mud, and you not that he's kind of dude. Plus, meet you or meet Cisco. He's a good-looking dude. Yeah. He's tall. And you got a no, car. But that's, but that's a good that's point. A <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. That's, said, that's a good point. And I told him that. And he that happens to us all the time. Mm. A lot of time. Not to sound... Fucking, ar- I hate sounding arrogant and shit. Uh, but a lot yeah, of times, me, me too. You know, a lot of times, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, you know, when we places, because Edgar comes with a lot of shit. Yeah. A lot of times when we places, they all can't get to me. Right. So you get the ricochet they pussy. They can get to him. Right. The ricochet. They get to him. Uh, yeah. And you know what? For bing, some bing, of them, it's bing. like, well, shit is close enough. Right. Uh-huh. So just don't fuck it up. Right. It's there. You know what I mean? And then, like, sometimes you got to just play off of that. Let me tell you something. Right. It's true. Like, as a music producer for years. I was able to work with a lot of people, and I was fortunate enough to travel with Jay Z. And you know, because I used to have my own production room at Jay Z Studio, Rock Nation Studio, and you know, I was fortunate enough to travel with Jay Z and be on the road with him and, and fucking concerts and shit. And I mean, you talking about real superstar right, shit, right? Right. You know what I mean? And you talking about women coming rushing backstage? Right. And I was fortunate enough before I got you know famous or whatever. I was fortunate enough to see 
Wow, oh shit! This is this how women act towards really famous. This is what this is what's capable. This, this is what's capable yeah, 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 of happening yeah, yeah. if you. you become that nigga. Yeah, and and Jay Z, the coolest nigga on the planet, he right. walk around with his sunglasses and shit like you don't see nobody. Right. And I think that worked more to her, towards his advantage. Right. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So I learned from that. Like, okay. So to your point, when you asked her, it's like, okay, when I got a little bit, you know, of, of popularity, I said, okay, well, I got to handle this shit. So you had you kind of had a model, absolutely, that you could that you could absolutely. follow the the, 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 the blueprint. Direction. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's how yeah. they yeah. blue, yeah, yeah, no problem. The blue. <laughs> you know what I'm no, it's real because I would see Jay Z walk off stage after killing a fucking crowd, right. And chicks screaming and shit and hollering. I mean, mind you, he had Beyonce backstage, so you know, yeah. right. it, he really had no incentive. But right. it was just like, oh wow! And he just walked by and with his fucking sunglasses and look in the air and act like he didn't right. even just did his job. Them. Right, right. And it would just make women go that much more. Well, crazy. here's here's the thing: is he's a dude that who was always forward thinking. He was very direct about what he the things he wanted to achieve, the goals that he what he had in mind, True and because well. that. And if you think that if you're looking at a chick like she's the most important thing, she don't want you. Mm -hmm. Because how can you take care of her? It's it's like this. If you're the lion, right, and all the lionesses and your cubs are behind you, if you watching them, then Cisco's going to run up and <laughs> take your bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you got to you gotta be watching the Serengeti. You got to be watching the motherfuckers that are coming at because your job is to defend that. So if you're so fixated on her, on everything that she does, the attention, this, that, and the other, I mean, even... We talk about this a lot of times, body language, you know, talking over over your shoulder. Like, if I talk to a chick, I don't never square up and talk to her face to face. I, I talk to the bitch over the shoulder. I be like, word, so, yeah, all right. And then turn, and she's like, why is this nigga don't, why don't he even give me his full, especially as a bad bitch, because then she's like, I'm so accustomed to dudes flowing in. Why is this shit. dude not give a fuck? Why is it? But but the reality is, here's what you what, what you got to understand. If you, as a credible dude, if you got a chick, and even if you just want a, one chick, you got to take care of your joint. So the minute she becomes in comes in your life, you're as a man, you're taking care of her to whatever capacity. Even if she's a side joint, that means if she's hungry, you feed her. She's thirsty, you take her. She you, you pick her up, you drop off to whatever. Even if that's your side joint. So you are losing. You're making sacrifices to be with her. You're taking your time. You're giving her but, time. See, you, that now you're you falling back on what I said earlier. Sure, about sure. The, about the time. But the, spe but the specifics of it is even if she's your side joint, you got to understand that you are going to be the one that's giving. She's not giving. She's huh. she's looking. She's checking so you your can't resources. Just give it to anybody. You, everybody is not. Everybody's not deserving. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You. And that's my problem. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. <laughs> under, yeah. You don't understand what your worth is. You don't understand what your, your 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 the bottom line of your worth. And even if you know, you ain't gotta be famous to to do that. You gotta understand it. Yeah, you gotta be with famous nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that, helps. that helps. You definitely get the ricochet pussy. That that is is mm. definitely the so. No, I, honestly, the way honest and all jokes aside, the way now I'm 36 years old now. You know, I've been in the entertainment business for over 15 years. You know, kind of like yourself. Yeah, yeah. I've been around this shit for a long time. So my views, perspectives, my my approach to everything, even women has just changed. Like yeah. I have more of a Peyton Manning kind of approach. Where it's just like. I just let the game come to me. Right. right you know what right, I mean? Right, I'm not right. so aggressive about right. it. Even when we out and we get some rhythm and, right. and, and they hollering and they looking good, I'm like, nah, they, you know, if they really want that It'll action, come to me. And if it doesn't, right. I'll wait Little by little, it they'll go from that table to this table to this table to, right. yo, can I have a drink? And it's like, all right. Egg, we got something. Right, right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Right. If they <laughs> really nibble. want that work, they the game will come to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't go throwing the fucking Hail Marys and be like, yo, send my man, yo, go tell her to come over here. That shit does not work. Right. right. Because at the end of the day, it's like we let the helmet dudes do that. And that and that's that's a no, that's a side that's a side that's a side punch at a lot of the um the um the football players. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, and and it's just what it is. A lot of the football players when they're in the clubs, they go above and beyond and out of their fucking way for attention. They buy the most bottles, they wear the most jewelry, they do everything right, they right. can because you know why? Because even though they they've accomplished oh, the a certain level in their life where they're making all this bread and and, and they they have their stars and all that, yeah. they run around with fucking helmets. So nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows who they are. You're not. Well, you know what here it is too. It's also the fact, and this is, might be something that you never thought of. A lot of it has to do with the fact that if you if you're good at football, you was at practice. 
Like, you was not out in the club game. And go, there's a lot of dudes that go to NBA. Right. And they ain't did nothing, double practices, triple practices. And all of a sudden, now they're getting all this attention. And they're not accustomed to that attention right. because they never had it before. Mm -hmm. So if you were, if you were a dirty nigga sleeping on your mom's food, in a, on a futon in your mom's basement, you got you to gotta learn game. But if you're, if you're playing football, your, your life is... De dedicated to it's being true. a football player, so you don't learn the game. So as much as 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 jewelry and money and st all those things might be the lure to pull them in, but you could pull them in and be a cornball, and they still will just like I'm you know, not. You know, it's funny. I know I know dudes that, um, and this, this ain't a shot to LeBron James, but I know dudes that was a around LeBron James like yeah. back in the days when he right. first started popping and right, right. and he came out the, the fucking high school and went to the yeah, league yeah. and he was turning up. He was a and kid had, though. Yeah, but I know dudes personally that was around him that yeah. like yo yo fam yo um pull your pants down a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm like like swag up swag, a, little a little bit because he used to you know oh, used yeah. to wear because he, he was a kid, right? Belly button right. and shit, Hi, and guys. Like, like you said, Hi. Yeah, it was, it was real talk. Right. You know what I mean? Like like yo my nigga, like you got to get cool. Like you a star <laughs> you just now. Fucking ruined. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna watch yeah. basketball and laugh at this nigga now. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, this is high ass nigga. I'm telling you what it was. It's like facts. Like niggas had to teach him that, yo, this is how you got to be cool. You know what I'm saying? Because right. to his point, it was like he spent his whole life every day playing you know, ball. Playing ball. He, he knows did. how to game that ball. That's why he, he got on. that good. Yeah, he wasn't yeah, out there right, running right. around in, right. in the fucking parking lot. So I think lot. I finally figured Pippen. out my problem. You've been playing basketball? my whole life <laughs> fucking playing marriages. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? That's... Look, that, well, well, let me ask you something. Like, Edgar, Edgar, let me ask you something because we, you know, we throwing a lot of... It's, this is this this became real technical. This is... Right, out of nowhere, real tech. I kind of figured that. I kind of figured that that I was going to vibe with him like that was but here's here's what I was saying. Uh what what was your what's your number? You know what I'm saying? My number. Yeah, yeah. back in me, what's your number? My number is um You better hope it's higher than mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny when you ask me that in front of my son, I'm including your mother. <laughs> That's oh, one. Oh shit! He fucked your mother. He fucked your mother. Oh man. Well, my number nine. See, I got my him, number I, I think would be like, like, like thirty. Thirty. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. <sighs> bad. Not bad. bad. No, Are you he's... turning seventeen this year? Seventeen. <laughs> 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 you got good one liners. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mara went to a couple proms. <laughs> Mara's still going yeah. to proms. <laughs> oh, that's not a thing? <laughs> Do we got a date? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, his, his was crazy. It's, it's, it's just like that this this game is a game. Like you can you the game is going down. You can learn to play it well and win, or you can lose. You don't there's no choice mm -hmm. in it, man. You gotta learn the game. You gotta understand. The rules of the rules of engagement. Now, here's something in interesting because here, here's what's crazy about uh, when when I I could tell you you learned your game, Cisco, trial by fire, definitely getting out the end. Of, but definitely. here's on 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 another. It's like I've and I I did the same thing, but I've I have um I've moved to a situation where I look at it even deeper, even scientifically, even deeper. Because here's here's what what what, what I've been you know, tossing around in my head. Women are, we're animals, right? And so when you look at- Wait, Women are animals or men are, we're all, all animals. We're all animals. We're all animals. We're, human beings right. are animals. And the, the single most important drive in, 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 a, in a woman, in, in anybody, in human beings, is, is, is the reproductive factor, mating, hooking up. That's even more important than your own personal survival. Because as- as, as as when you look from animal to animal, species to species, that becomes the most important thing, is is because the species has to survive. survive. So even when we look at the cognitive level, that like the social contract, marriage and fidelity and stuff, those animal instincts are still there. Like I was on doing a radio show the other day and this chick was saying, well, I like a man and this, and I was like, yo, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you like, your pussy does. And she was like, what? Wow, she's a feminine. And I was like, but what I'm saying to you is, you know you like a dude because you feel it in your, in your gut. It ain't, it ain't, it's not a cognitive thing. So when a chick feels that swagger, she, what she's really feeling 
Because this nigga could keep me safe. This nigga's a viable, he's a viable uh, choice as a mate. Even if it's not, even if her plan is not to have you as a mate, you have to be the dude that she goes, this dude is a dude I should be with. And that goes into, into the instinct. It's instinctual to the same token. So like I say, you know, a woman gives you shit to make sure you are the shit. So when your chick is arguing with you and she's giving you a hard time, she's doing that to make sure you gonna put her in her place. Because the minute you don't put her in her place, she goes, "Oh, this this nigga's a sucker." She's not really saying he's a sucker, but what she's really deep down How instinctually, can he protect me? she's going, "He is not a he is not a a good mate choice." So you gotta be the dude. You gotta do those things that go to the to the to the gut. Of the the instinctual drive where she goes, he is a is a is a viable mate choice, and there's there's a there's a checklist that she goes through to to, to achieve that. There's a checklist where she's going, okay, all right, other dudes respect him, other women find him attractive. Uh, he's not really sweating me. He has he's decisive and forward thinking. He has his goals and stuff like that. She's not even thinking that maybe he might be so busy that he, he might not he don't have time for me. These are things that she has like a visceral feeling, an instinctual feeling. She goes, "Wow, I just like this dude so much. I don't know. You ever see a chick say, I don't know what it is about him. It's just girl. It's just like he just. I feel crazy around him. I just can't get. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And you have to learn that. And what you've what you've learned. You, you, you grew up with your pops or no? Yeah. Yeah. It, did your mom run your pops? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when you went over, somebody goes, yeah, um, then, then it's yeah. So, so what, what happens is we, we learn these, we learn these, 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 these ways that we follow and we, uh, to be a good, good, I'm going to be a good dude. I'm going to do some of, yo, happy wife, happy life. And if I hear that again, oh, God. I'm going to shoot myself in the <laughs> fucking head. Because and everybody always, nods their fucking head because and, it, you feel like that's what you're supposed to do, like societally. Yeah, and, like, and that's yeah, strong. But, you know, I also think like there's um, I I mean, let me speak for myself. There's a process that I think, well, I went through to even get to the point where it was like, okay, well, I understand the way I want to dynamics. Yeah, the it, dynamics yeah. and how I want to approach things right, with right. women because you know you got the game, you know, phase of your life where you think you could just run off game. Then you know. Then you got. Well, I had a I had a stretch in my life where I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna use the material shit, you know. And right, I right, went, right. And, I, and I had a, 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 a I bought a Bentley mm. and, and and had a Beamer Benz mm -hmm. and I literally right. had all three. Right. Not the fucking record. I had right, all right. three in my garage, penthouse apartments and shit with a basketball court in my living room. Like right. I did all that and brought women into that world. Right, right. The problem with that is. The more you show them, the more they're gonna expect from you. Right. All right. They might have just wanted. And fact, I, I think and, that hurts and, you and more. Here's right. the other thing. And then Edgar it, doesn't have a basketball. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, don't look at me, yo. <laughs> no, but the thing is, like, you know, you could now you and, gotta and, and top I, yourself. If that's how you. Not come just in. that. Remember, they might have wanted to just fuck you. Not but now it's whoa. Stay. I'm not fucking this nigga. This nigga might. Buy me a condo. This right. nigga might buy me. Now a they're penalty. trying to get the resources. Like, hold on, I'm a, now, now I'm gonna hold on to this, right. you know, and right, use this right. as leverage to get things I want out of them. So now you become right. once again. I hate to throw shots. At the, you no, the football player. You become oh, you yeah, know, yeah. you become yeah. the dude right. that gotta like right. pay like he weigh. You right. know what I mean? Right. So right. Right. I went through that phase in my life, and it's like you go through all these different phases to finally realize, you know what? You know, let me combine all my experiences to learn how to approach women. Right. So I can't be mad at Egg. I can't be mad at no, any no, other no, dude no. who hasn't been through these different phases well, yet to really realize, you know what? It's just like, it's kind of like you got to approach almost every situation differently. Here's, here's what's crazy. I don't never, I don't never get mad at a dude for because of the position. I mean, the, 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 the purpose of the show is to bring a motherfucker up. That's that's yeah. what Trust I'm me, about. I've I've dealt with those faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been out. Yo, we went out one time, bro. With two girls, bro. Yeah. This bitch ordered surf and turf at two o'clock in the morning. Wow. <laughs> at two o'clock wow. in the morning, right. bro. I'm right. like, what? And I right. was like, and I paid for that it's shit. It's like thirty eight yeah. fifty, right? Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot, bro. You know, no, not at White, not at White Castle. I know. It's I was like, different. where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> but she did that shit on purpose. She did right. that. She did that. Why she did that? Because we, I'm with Cisco, and she sees Cisco on the table, and right, she right, sees right. all that shit. That, that's and a part like, of it. You know yeah, what? Man. You know, I could do that shit. Right, right. This bitch ordered two plates and put. But it let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. That is true. Let me ask you this. And what did you say? 
I didn't say nothing. See, yeah, that's, that's is the problem. problem. See, you look. I should have. No, 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 but I, no, but no, no, no. I back him up on that one because I always tell Egan, this is my own personal thing. Uh-huh. I always say, this is a, this is my personal practice. I always say, no matter what, before shit goes left, we don't lower ourselves. Right, right. We we walk away like champions. All right, right. cool. That will humble. That's three hundred. That's how you right. I care. Cool. But check this out. That bitch better never call me again. Exactly. <laughs> right, right, you don't right. Never, you don't never petty yourself out. Right, like, right, Yo, right. Bitch, you order twenty three dollars to sit and you no, got a, no. A but I'm, drink. I'm gonna like, say, we don't do that. but here's the thing. I get what you're saying, but you go, you you got that guap to do to no, pay that's the. No, it's not about the bread. It's just like just in general. Like, but I'm saying, I'm not gonna play myself to no yeah, female. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. T- to a certain extent, but you're like fuck that nigga. Look, I ain't paying for that shit. It, like, it, and even if you go like while she's on it, like why would you? I just met you. Why would you? But you know what's funny? Why would though? you do that? Why but would you, you think you could? But do you know that? what's funny? We didn't have to do it because it was a group of us. It was like it was like twelve of us, right? Yeah. It was a big group, right? You know, and like everybody's like paired off. You know, like their husbands and wives. Yeah, but you, but you just, do it just that, going on. Nah, but right. you do it anyway. You right? Die, cool, no problem. That's yeah. what you're doing. And, and I get and that. And he's right because she ordered a fucking lobster. She ordered. I remember. I don't know. She ordered a lobster. She ordered a martini. But you know, and, and I, I said, Edgar, maybe she never ate like this in her life. Maybe, before. maybe. Mm-hmm. So you I know what? It. If she can walk away from you saying I hung out with Cisco and Edgar, and I ate the best I ever ate in my life, and we can, and that's nothing, and we can provide that for her, then shit, that's good promotion. Let, well, let, let here's, her rock. Here's, here's she's not a homeless crazy. person. She's a ratchet girl <laughs> coming after your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> you know who told her something? The other girls that were on the yeah, table yeah, told true. her. Why would you order that? Why would you do you that? You know, we right. here with everybody that like soup and shit. You know, we went to like fucking Casa de Mongo. And what did she say? She didn't say shit. She was, yeah, she's she a was bum ass bitch. I mean, I've, I've, she I've, took I've, a lobster home. And that's here, here's, here's what's crazy. I've, <laughs> I've had that. Like me and my man, me and my man had hooked up with, with these two joints. It was he knew to join and whatever. We and and they was like, well, let's go to this restaurant. Like this was the first date, and the restaurant was like uh, up in Rock in New Rock. It was a New Rock, and they had they had like a. Where they teach cook, cooking, it was like high, real high end joint. Oh, that, that right? Don't cook key, right? I don't know. It's in <laughs> New Rock. They, they in New Rock, the cook, they have the with kitchens cooking. Yeah, 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 right. So we went there, and it was like whatever. God, you know. I mean, I would be with my man and spend that kind of guap. Yeah. Anyway, right. I would spend that money just hanging out with my man because I hadn't seen him. That's but your the, man, yeah. the the point the point was, yo, these bitches was like, yo, let's get this. Yeah. And I was like, I right. You, you, when I, and I didn't even think about it because I was so happy to see my boy and it was just, you know, good food, good scotch, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, great conversation. It was two joints with us, whatever. And it wasn't even about them. But afterwards, I was like, wow, they, you know. They- yeah, but Dante, you can't, you can't, in my opinion anyway, you can't blame them. And I got to defend the ladies a little bit on that one. You can't, like, if you take them to the show. You, I mean, you took them to the show. You can't sure. be like, yo, bitch, we're going to sit in the back seat. You're right. right, right you're right. right. They with you. Right. You know but what I'm saying? I'm not they saying. They want to sit in the front. Yeah, what I was going to say yeah, was. Yeah, but we, it, uh, we learned to. You, you eat at home. Yeah. You, you shove your food in your face. Oh, I at like home. you. Give me a number before you. You have a salad. Right, right, right. You eat a couple of pieces of lettuce when you're there and you're like, no, I'm full. I'm full. But here's what I'm saying. I, I didn't. I didn't say nothing about it, but it, it wasn't until afterwards I was like, I was, you know, we dropped them off, whatever, and it was like and nothing even went on afterwards. But we dropped them off, and, and I was like, man, I was kind of ill for them. They actually picked the restaurant, right? And I was like, really? Mm. So, bitch, you, you so you get a you get a hundred dollar meal, right? But if you if you were, if you were a down ass bitch, you could get more than that. Cause I'm a generous nigga. Like I, if you with you me, I'm gonna let you. Right. Yeah, but yeah. you but you got a hundred dollars now. Beat it. Right. So you, you'll never get nothing else. You can't get White Castles no more. You can't get a phone call. Right, right. They killed so yeah. you, they you killed it. Thousands, which is, but he, they, yeah. they got great. Yeah, because I don't but know. But you know what it is? I think in, in those cases, that happens, that hap- that's happened to me uh, quite a few times. I think in those cases, they start to look at it like, well, you know what? I'm with this dude, and I may not get another date with him. So I might as well just, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, you I've know, seen that shit too. Yeah, you know, I, this might not that happen that again because yeah. I know he got a bunch of chicks. Yeah, but so here's the thing. Like, Let hey, me order baby. the whole fucking. Like, hey, baby, hey, daddy. I'm like, bitch, you just met this nigga. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, here's, but well, here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy. That's why when in front of the show we say B A B B, be a better bitch. Be a better right. bitch. You want a nigga? Be a better bitch. Stop right. thinking the time and the energy that you put in is. Entitles you to something. I would listen. I always and I put it out there. I mean, listen. I encourage you, women. A good approach is. I mean, shit. Um, go to the restaurant, order a bunch of shit. Let me or whatever to do you with order a bunch of shit, 
and then be like, excuse me, then go to the bathroom and then find a way to get the bill, pay that shit and come back and then say, hey, listen, I just took care of the bill. So oh, we can get yeah. Going. Oh, yeah. You, that you, shit right there might yeah. get you a new Mercedes. <laughs> your right, because it's not about the paper. It's, like, it's, it's, yeah, about, it's not about the, it's the principle. It's the principle. Mm-hmm. It's like, are you, then we are get you excited, like, oh, oh shit. Really? Oh, you just she paid it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you know right. I mean? And it can be bullshit. I like at the end of I was. But they never get that. Yeah. On a date the other the the other week, and uh, she goes, "You're not gonna let me pay for this, are like she because uh, I said not not in a negative way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I uh, can I I'm gonna guess that you're not gonna because I already said up front that I was taking care of it or whatever. Right, right, she right. goes, "Let me guess, you're not gonna let me." I go, "No, but I appreciate you offering." Right, and that I liked a lot. Just like that. She no, did it. No, she did no, it in a better way than I'm saying. <laughs> Fuck should that. I let her fucking They always <laughs> that sh- they always do the um the alligator the alligator arm shit. Can the I pumping? You know, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I got it. You know what? I'm pretty sure no. if you would have told her, yeah, go, you could pay it, she would have been like, fuck for that. real? No. Probably that's why I said and I said specifically. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> no, and I said specifically, I said, I I want the chick that's gonna be like, um, excuse me, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and go check my makeup. All right, cool. I'll see you when you get back. Right, right. And go and, do and it. come and do back it. and it's done. Because you're gonna win. Oh, I thought I oh, thought when you were going to the bathroom, I was like, how many times do you go to the bathroom on your date? <laughs> 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 I'm like, water. Is it big? Come, see, come back is it and be big? like, oh, <laughs> see, like, no, we can go, we can go now. No, I gotta get the bill. No, I I, I took see, care of that. I don't know. That yeah. would throw me off a little bit. I'm, I'd be like, this I'm chick. Saying, throw nah, me off. Yeah. <laughs> no, it would because I'd be like, that shit would throw me. Yeah, that would turn me. That would throw me to the fucking. Will you marry me? <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that's the wait, problem. No, I'll never say that shit. I'll never say that shit again. I'll never say that shit. Again. Harry, I don't know, man. That seems that that like it's almost like she's trumping you. Not nah, fuck that. Nah, like, she's not trumping. You got it twisted. No, you got it twisted. What she's t- what I've, she's I've doing women, that. I've dated women that have been. I've dated women that have had more money than I've had. Right. Right. I mean, I've you know, uh, you know, I've, I've dated women that have been big stars and right. Hollywood actresses and you know I, I've, I've kind of ran through the gamut a little bit so like I've been in them worlds was like they really got it and yeah. those motherfuckers are even cheaper than the chicks yeah. Yeah. that you meet at the local club yeah, you know yeah. serving you the bottles so it, it really don't it don't mean mm. shit at the end of the day it's just it becomes, it's, a, it's a gesture it's, it's who it's they a, are individually it's, right right it, but it, that is a gesture to say listen I, yo I dig you it ain't about the paper uh, you know, whatever, and right. and the thing is, she knows she's gonna win in the end, cause you, because bitches, you win, mm-hmm. you always win yeah. anyway. Even if even if you lose one night, you gonna yeah. win forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, you might get Edgar to ask you to marry you. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 but I'm, but I mean, it, the reality is to, when you start to understand what your what your personal value is. That's that's really what it comes down to. When you and the only way that you can really be confident about your value is that you have to be the best version of yourself. Mm-hmm. So yeah, whatever you that. think, whatever you think, you, whatever's broke, fix it. So whatever you think is you're insecure about, you got to fix that. If it's your body, if it's your, 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 your money, if it's your paper, if it's whatever, fix it. Because that's not really what matters. What matters is the attitude that you have about yourself. Mm-hmm. That you go, you go, I I am worth this time. I'm worth her time and her energy. In fact, she should be working to get worth, be worth my time and my energy. Because when, when you come down to it, the thing that we like about women more than anything is that they like us. Mm-hmm. That's the best quality in the world. Like, yeah, I always say that. She's, you know, mm-hmm. she's, she, this chick, man, you know, she's got really great qualities. What do you like about her most? Well, she like me. That's what I like <laughs> the best about her. And, so, I, and I always say, too, don't be afraid. And I know it's going to sound fucking crazy, but don't be afraid to, you know, you could pay five compliments. That's cool. But throw in an insult, too. <laughs> he just, no, 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 I'm serious. That sounds no, no, crazy, true. right? No, it's true. Yeah. I've witnessed this shit. He's yeah. seen I, it. Yo, I've seen you it. You know what I've... I've you know yeah, your we, face we, is real nice. No, we your got, body. No, no. We've seen it. You know what he does? You know what he does? He plays it cool, right? That's why I tell you, I've learned that yeah. the more the, the, the more of an asshole you are, the more they're attracted to you. So like we've hung out sometimes, and we, there's a couple of chicks, right? So he'll start... Like, if I'm with one, he'll start giving the one I'm with compliments. And then the yeah, one yeah. that he's with will be like, what? What the, like, fuck? What the fuck? Compliment and, and the friends. Now it's a competition. Yeah, that, that's now even though they're best friends, like, his, what the fuck, bitch? Base for the rule. And I then don't who know gets, what number it is, but yeah. base for the rule is always create a bidding war. And then who gets it's fucked at the end of the night? Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> the first they like both want this nigga. Wait, right, 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 right. right. <laughs> you got, you, you can't, you got so, to keep them on their toes. Right, right, right. You know, and just and you could be like, wow, your nails is pretty. Why they look so pretty? But but your hair, you could have, you know, you could have did a. You ain't got a brush? Yeah. 
day. <laughs> one day. One day I was in Cisco and he called this girl fat. She said, Oh, you're all right. You're a little fat. And that girl, <laughs> she loved your whole the fucking depth. face. Like, yeah. She never heard that shit in her whole of fucking course. life. Of course. Yo, he said, Yo, you look all right, but you're a little chubby. That bitch was skinny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that bitch was skinny. <laughs> that bitch was skinny, but he fucked her up. I bet you she went home and worked out because fucking Cisco said well, she because, was fucking fat. Because he is, they're a lot more insecure than you ever could think. The thing is, right. when they feel like that, when they tap into that vein a little bit. When you you gotta you gotta you gotta go keep them honest like what you gotta keep them honest because when you're here's here's really the principle the principle behind it is this that nobody appreciates anything that they don't that they don't that they don't earn right you know what I'm saying uh-huh. like, like I've had you you know you get a kid and he does and, and you buy him a, a a Corvette and you just give it to him. Week and a half, he wraps it around a tree. Young, young right. kid. But if he if he got to work and earn this and shit. and get it, like I had a I had a, a, a evergreen, shit green Chevy Corvette was my first joint. But I worked for it. I worked at the mm. library in periodicals until I Can bought you it. Imagine Dante working at the library, I was at the library <laughs> working for my evergreen hatchback. Fucking Chevy Chevette, seventy seven Chevy Corvette, not Corvette, Chevy Chevette, Chevette hatchback. Yeah, little, a difference. Yeah, it was a big difference, difference between the Corvette <laughs> and the Chevy. Couple letters, right? Like and it's a little, the devil, the le- and, and I know, son. I was like, whoa. But I used yeah. to sun, I used to, I used to shine the rust off that shit. I had a, I had a, I hooked up the, the radio in the glove compartment. I had sixteen speakers. They was all wired on the dashboard. When you stop short, they fly off and smack you in the back of the head. But it was my <laughs> joint because mm-hmm. I earned. It. Now, if somebody had just gave me a flyer car, I wouldn't have appreciated that. So the same thing happens with women because if then if you're giving them this attention and this affection and they haven't done anything to earn it, then they well, then it's not worthless. only that, Dante. The problem is that everybody gives it to them. Sure, sure, everybody. You know, a, 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 a pretty a, girl is always a wise man that. once told me. You know, somebody I grew up with, and, and you know. Um, Thank God I've always been a, a fairly, you know, decent looking dude. And he told me, he should be like, yo, can I, I'm from the projects. And he should be like, yo, Cisco, man, I see when you walk up the projects to Broadway, man, like these, the girls are always looking at you and they're always like, you know, calling you over and stuff like that. And he's like, that's good, man. That's good that you get attention. He said, but remember something. He said, um, the average girl walking down the street gets talk, gets hollered at 10 times a day. A hundred times. You might get it once, once or twice a day. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. Right. Mm-hmm. Keep that in the back of your mind. No matter, you could be the best looking dude on the block. You're not but getting the, attention. But the average right. girl is still better looking than you. That's right. Because you're gonna yeah. get more attention than you. Right. Well, she and and the thing is, that's be, but that's our fault. That's because dudes well, give. Yeah, we do get annoyed by that. the end of it. We so get you kind got of you gotta yeah. like bless balance you. it out a little God bit. God bless you. God bless your father. You get annoyed with it. But so so by the time, okay, by the time on the average day that you make it to the yeah. club at one o'clock in the morning, if I'm like, oh you know, wow, how you how you doing? It's you good look to be good, good beautiful. You're like, uh, you're like, nigga, I heard that shit. 50 you get, but she not, she didn't hear you're fat. Yeah, <laughs> you got a chubby. That she didn't hear. I don't, I don't like that sweater. You you could have picked some better shit. What are we going to? Are we going to the gym? Did fucking did Forever Twenty One have a yard sale or that? Like this shit you. Got on. Yeah. You don't get out of. You get tired of it because it's all you get that all day. But I guarantee yeah. you, if you didn't get hollered at, after a while you'd be like, nobody's hollering at me, nobody's saying shit. You'd be envious of it. Yes. Right. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna miss the day. All right, we got a uh, Cisco. We do this little thing where we get emails and stuff. We're gonna help some people. All right, you gonna hang let's out go. and help some people. I'm with you. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Hi, Dante. First of all, I want to acknowledge how your show has resurrected many men from the grave of this female oppressed generation. I am dope. You are, <laughs> <laughs> you are a life giver to the downtrodden and are like a savior for sacrificing your life to make mistakes we don't ha- do not have to repeat. Why isn't there a crucifix of you on sale yet? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? That's going to be so in stores on Tuesday. There's no question. I'm no, I'm just kidding. Here's the question. I'm dropping my crucifixion <laughs> on in stores on Tuesday. <laughs> my question is, of all the Beige Philip rules, which one do you think is the greatest? Or at least, which are the top three to always remember? Always. Uh, okay, I would say, uh, never let a bitch define you. Oh, this you. guy's from Finland. Okay. Mm. Wow. I know. Okay, that's dope. Uh, <laughs> never let a bitch define you. If you let her define you, it won't be long t- 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 till you ain't shit. Never let a woman define you. You have to define yourself. Mm. Always be ready to take the, the L. Always be ready to take the L and be ready to lose. Right? Don't. And always protect your manhood at any cost. Those are the three. I think everything else stems from. I think. I think. Uh, 
uh, always protect your manhood at any cost. Everything falls. Under Everything that falls under that umbrella. Not, yeah. We are at war. Well, uh, we are yeah, at well, war we know that. I yeah. mean, yeah, we are at war. But I mean, the thing is, I think if you protect your manhood at any cost, because everything falls under that, because tingle in the nuts falls under that, be yeah. willing to take the L falls under that. Right. So. I'll I'll tell you a, a, a quick story. When when I was in the I, I was I was in the you game. You don't know how to tell a quick story. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, that well, I love you one, to death. This or, one's gonna be or quick. Freestyle rap. This one be. <laughs> don't talk about my Thank freestyle. You. <laughs> you know. Join us next week for this quick story. <laughs> <laughs> Murder Mook. I'm trying to see you. <laughs> here's 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 the story. When I was in the game, I had a chick. I, I, I at the time I was a little low. I didn't have a in the whole, game. Which game? I, when I was were, pimping. When I was okay. pimping, I didn't have a lot of chicks in the I, I was down it was a downtrodden time i had three joints i had two or two new chicks you're, you're telling this as a low point yeah it was a low point it was three <laughs> chicks it was three chicks uh, this is a low point in my life i'm I not pay proud attention. of it this is a, i only had right, so i had chicks. three joints i had t- t- three chicks that was working two chicks were new i was still breaking them into the game right one chick was like the vet she was making all the money right out of the blue uh she goes to me she comes to me and she gets she says um you know, Daddy, I feel like it should just be us, and I should just take care of your money and take care of your needs, right? And I was like, bitch, you got to go. <laughs> you have to go. Because her intention is not to take care of me. Her intention is, her intention to, is to eliminate the other two girls. Yeah. So when, when you're in the game, you have to protect your manhood at all costs, and you have to see what a woman is really saying. What she's, she's not saying, I should... I want to take care of you myself because you're the most important thing. That's not the name of the game. The because name of the game it, yeah. is for me to have as many bitches as I can and everybody be taking care of my needs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I allow her to get away with that, then what I'm in essence saying is now I give up my manhood. I've given control of the game to, to the hoe. You can't do that. So you, you, you I go, you got to go. I said, I've told you before the type of man I am. Now, you, and, and one day you're going to test me and when you test me, I'm going to show you who I am. So you got to go. She was like, Daddy, why? Why I got to leave? I was like, because here's what you want from me is not is not just to take care of me. What you want from me is my manhood. And I'm not I'm not willing to give you that. Okay. And she's like, well, fuck you. Bye, bye, bye. Right. Beat it, bitch. Beat it. Six months later, she came back. She was like, I, I understand where... I understand. I said, well, look, it's going to be under my rule. I, do I miss you? Yes. Do I miss the money? Yes. Do I miss the pussy? Yes. But I'm not willing to compromise my manhood simply to have you. All right. And that's really the point. I mean, it's nobody's it's, bigger than the company. That's Perhaps. it. Yeah. That's it. Because yeah. you got to keep the human resource department open. Because yeah. <laughs> you never know when you might, somebody might get on maternity leave. Right. And you got to fill the position. <laughs> <laughs> that is a problem during pimping. That's right. So you know, gotta, the, the, the value goes down. <laughs> the value goes down a little bit on a pregnant one. Yeah. And I, I, Edgar, do you have a, approach anxiety? Like when you talk to chicks, are you are you are, do you get nervous? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, he I said Edgar. Me crazy. Crazy. <laughs> well, he was answering for you. His was his was his was crazy. I have a I have a I have a a, 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 a fix for that. All right. The fix, the fix is lay the five bricks. We always say this, lay the five bricks. What I, what I tell a dude who don't know, understand the game is I go holler at five chicks a day. Don't You don't have to get the number. You don't have to talk to them. You just got to say, hey, I like your makeup. Not, no, and don't talk about their ass or the teeth. I like, your, I like your makeup. I like your haircut. I like your shoes. Just talk. You understand? It's just like with comedy, how we get on stage. You know how we get on stage? You get on stage. Yeah. And now when you get on stage, you don't have... You don't have that anxiety. You just get on stage and be funny. And then it's, afterwards is the best. Right. <laughs> right. But but the if you have that approach anxiety, the only way you beat that approach anxiety is by doing it. Just like with, with comedy. You get on stage, you get on stage until like you Like basically have, like shooting in the gym. Yeah, exactly. You got to shoot a, a thousand free throws every day. Mm-hmm. And then what happens is, what will happen is, and I, I, I profess to do that five chicks a day every day for eight weeks. That's 285 chicks. Most dudes never even fucked 285 chicks in their lifetime. Right, Edgar? Yeah. <laughs> right? right? So, uh, so you, what I'm you saying said is... hundreds. Well, what, <laughs> you hit three Asshole. figures. But what, what, will ha- well, what will happen is you will fall into some pussy just by doing that because you it will get so... It, it will get so... You'll get so comfortable doing it. And, no, and don't just pick the pretty ones. Old bitch at the fucking supermarket. The janitor lady that's cleaning. Just 
make it your because here's the difference: the game with an ugly bitch is the same as a pretty bitch. Mm -hmm. You you still got to be in that in that moment. The difference is when we like somebody, we tr we tend to treat them differently. And the minute they smell that you're treating them differently, then they... That's it. They got you. Yeah, they got true. you. Yeah, that part's true. You got to have that game. Wow. I mean, you know, Cisco has been, you know, fucking with bitches, famous mm -hmm. bitches, whatever. And so it's like, you you know, how do you... you, you, you you're not phased. You, so when you're not phased, then you then you, your game stays the same. You're same consistent. Their powers just, have nothing on just you. Just like when we get on stage and it's we performing for five motherfuckers in a five Jamaican motherfuckers who <laughs> who are eating oxtails. That shit and is then, horrible. And, and then and when you do it for a theater of motherfuckers, that, you got to have that same mentality. The show is the same. The mm -hmm. game is the same. It doesn't change. It has to be sold, not told. And the only way you can do that is you got to do it. You got to practice. Says, that. I'm gonna do, do five mm -hmm. bricks a day. So. Five bricks. To get you in. <laughs> we are um, Cisco man. This was doper than I thought it would be. I mean, I knew it was going to be dope. dope. <laughs> I knew it was going to be dope. This was but twice it was as dope. dope. It was doper than I thought it would be. Thank you for coming, brother. Thank I really appreciate, me, appreciate it, man. It. Love, love. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Definitely, definitely. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Um, where can they get you? They get you. Uh, you follow on me on Insta Instagram, man. Cisco uh, underscore Rosado. Yeah. And. Um, you know, shit. Um, Any projects coming up that anyone motherfuckers should know about? A bunch of albums I'm working on. Bunch yeah. of artists. Um, nice. Doing a film. Um, catch me on the new season, obviously. Nice. And, um, oh, you back on the new season? I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I feel you. I feel going you. Going yeah. He needs to get slapped a couple of more times. Yeah. He's got to cut. He's got to <laughs> rack up that dry cleaning bill. Get a couple more drinks. <laughs> it's just going to start the new season with goggles on. Yeah. <laughs> like, bitch. I learned my lesson. Yo, thanks for Why coming. Why you wearing out? a poncho? <laughs> Exactly, um, man, uh, Edgar, yo, what you got going on? Tell me your Twitter and all that good shit, yo, so my folks can follow you. Edgar the comedian. Edgar it's the a true. comedian. Edgar a comedian is what it is. The uh. Duh. It's a uh, or Duh. the Edgar a uh, comedian. Edgar a uh, comedian. <laughs> Edgar, you had me. Uh, um, all right, so follow Edgar on Edgar a <laughs> uh, comedian. Follow me, yo. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, Edgar Rivera Comedy. Um, next week I'll be in the Bronx, Broadway Comedy Club, and Jersey. I'm going to LA, yo, on the 17th. Nice. So what you I'll got be, going on up there? I'm doing everything and everything, yo. The Laugh Factory. Nice. Um, Comedy store, mm. Hollywood improv, doing uh, everything that I right, can. Cool, bro. cool, cool. As a man, funny, funny dude. Check out Edgar on. You got any stuff on YouTube too? Yeah. All right, so check Edgar out. Edgar is a funny, funny dude. Um, Mari, you talk to me. Uh, you can always follow me at uh, maralive.com. All my links are there or through our website, beigephillip.com or riotcast.com. Yeah. Uh, Harry? Uh, you could always find me at my website, ihatecomedy.com. That's where all my info is at. And uh, follow me <laughs> at Harry Drujanian. Uh, go ahead. Kick your shit, too. Why not? What's up? What's up? Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram. <laughs> you guys follow me on Instagram. What's your Instagram? That uh, guy, D-A-T <laughs> underscore G-U-Y 719. D-A-T underscore G-U-Y 719. That that guy. That guy. That guy. That guy. All, right. All right. Yo, Andre, talk to me. Yo, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, Andre underscore D Thompson. All right. You can follow me on everything at Dante Nero. Uh, everything's at Dante Nero. Instagram's at Dante Nero Comedian. GYBB, get your balls back. BABB, be a better bitch. WWDD, what would Dante do? Stop playing. The Sexual Revolution is being podcast. Don't forget to follow the Beige Phillip at the Beige Phillip. Go on the website, beigephillip.com, all that good shit. If you rank. like what we're doing, yeah. if you like what we're doing, tell three friends. And rate. Turn them on to this. Stop letting them get fucking pimped. Rate and review be us a on pimp. iTunes, Don't be. please. Rate and review on iTunes, too, because Harry's going crazy. I'm fucking, I've had it. I've fucking <laughs> had it. crazy. Yo, I love y'all. We out. Peace.